Beyonce and Rihanna have recently clashed in a heated dispute, with Beyonce accusing Rihanna of copying her ideas. This conflict erupted after Rihanna announced the launch of her hair care line just a few months following Beyonce's own similar venture. Rihanna has often been criticized for allegedly imitating Beyonce's style and projects, but this incident marks the first time she has been accused of such overt mimicry on a public platform. Rumors have circulated for years about this ongoing pattern of behavior. For years, Rihanna has been seen as trying to keep up with Beyonce, aiming to surpass her in stardom. Many dismissed these claims, believing the industry was merely attempting to create rivalry between the two. However, following Rihanna's recent move, which many view as a blatant copy of Beyonce's actions, public criticism has intensified. People are now accusing Rihanna of using Beyonce as her inspiration board. For those who have been following the dynamics between Rihanna and Beyonce, if you've been keeping up with Rihanna and Beyonce for a while, you'll know that comparisons between the two have been frequent since Rihanna's debut. Initially, these comparisons focused on their music, with many accusing Rihanna of copying Beyonce. However, the situation has recently escalated after Rihanna announced the launch of her new hair care line Fenty Hair. This has become a major point of contention because just a few months ago, Beyoncé launched her own hair care line. Beyoncé also launched her hair care line, Sacred, which received mixed reviews. Critics questioned the authenticity of her venture, pointing out that she rarely showcases her natural hair. The backlash was so intense that Beyoncé had to film a video of herself receiving a hair treatment, revealing her natural hair for the first time in years. Unfortunately, this effort did little to revive the fading interest in her product line. Just when the hype was dying down, and just as people were about to move on from Beyoncé's brand, Rihanna unveiled Fenty Hair. The timing of this announcement raised eyebrows, with many questioning why she would launch a hair care line right after Beyoncé. Public reactions were swift and candid. One person commented, Rihanna, this is weird, I'm sorry, but Beyoncé just released her hair care line and it's not doing well. Why not let it be? You're always trying to ruin her businesses. It's really giving you want her man. I don't know another person said Beyonce wearing wigs to protect her hair while being experimental with her looks. People building dumb and ignorant narratives around sacred and be Rihanna. Doing the exact same thing. People praising and celebrating her for the incoming hair care line while not facing any backlash now, as I said before, this ain't the first time that Rihanna has been accused. Rihanna has faced accusations of stealing from Beyonce since she first entered the industry. Initially a big fan of Beyonce, Rihanna frequently performed Destiny's Child songs while she was still in Barbados. After being discovered by Jay-Z and signing with Def Jam, she released her single Pawn de Reclay. This marked the beginning of the allegations of her copying Beyoncé. Pond de Replay was, Pond de Replay had an infusion of sounds that many people found reminiscent of Beyoncé's smash hit Baby Boy. The accusations intensified when Rihanna openly admitted that Beyoncé heavily influenced her. She even remarked that Beyoncé is the blueprint for all pop stars and that everyone should strive to be like her. Now 22, Rihanna's career was just taking off nearly five years ago when she was 17. At the 2005 Jingle Ball, she was asked whose career she respected the most, and her admiration for Beyonce was clear. Beyonce, definitely. I just thought she was, well, the first thing I saw, you know, was her beauty and how beautiful she was. And then I listened to her music and I loved her music. She's incredibly talented. I think she's what every female artist should strive to be or strive to be like, you know, because. She, despite all her success, she still remains humble. Even though this was intended as a compliment, it made many people realize that Rihanna often looked to Beyonce for inspiration. This contributed to the perception that her music at the time sounded very similar to Beyonce's. Adding to the controversy, there were also rumors that Rihanna was involved with Jay-Z behind Beyonce's back. If you recall, Rumors circulated that Jay-Z was making Rihanna his side piece when she was just 17. At that time, Jay-Z was still the president of Def Jam, so he pretty much held the power to either make or break Rihanna's career. 
This power imbalance was significant enough for Rihanna to feel compelled to do whatever he asked, even if it meant engaging in an affair. This revelation came from Rihanna's publicist at the time and spread rapidly. Matters worsened when Rihanna herself recounted instances where Jay would keep her confined in his office until 3 o'clock am. However, as anticipated, Jay-Z utilized his influence to sweep this under the rug before it. Before the situation could escalate further, the publicist who initially disclosed the affair mysteriously recounted his statements. He claimed to have fabricated the entire story in a desperate bid to promote Rihanna's debut hit, Juan de Replay. He confessed. The PR stunt I pulled was out of desperation to help break Juan de Replay. It was reckless, and I didn't think it would work. I was just throwing spaghetti at the wall to see what would stick. However, many remained skeptical. This was not enough for many, who believed Jay-Z coerced the publicist into retracting his statements. In fact, Jagler Wright recently disclosed that a few months prior, Jay-Z had given Rihanna an STD while they were involved, which she subsequently transmitted to Chris Brown. Jay-Z gave her the herpes that she gave to Chris Brown. Rihanna was only 14, 15 when he started with her and signed to the death. As you can see, Beyonce and Rihanna have a troubled history, so it's understandable that Beyonce's fans would suspect Rihanna of copying her. However, amidst the chaos, Rihanna's fans came forward with evidence to refute these claims. They revealed that Rihanna had actually trademarked her hair care line in March 2021, whereas Beyonce trademarked hers in June 2022. This information was shared by one of Rihanna's fans on Twitter, who stated, before anyone starts ranting, Fenty hair has been in the works for a while, so nobody is. As usual, people had diverse opinions on the matter. One individual expressed, Beyonce has sacred hair care, Rihanna now has Fenty hair. Both businesses can coexist successfully, along with countless other black-owned women-led brands. Please stop trying to create unnecessary competition among black women. There's enough money for everyone. Another person questioned the belief that Rihanna developed a hair care line shortly after Beyoncé's announcement in February and managed to create and launch it within four months, saying, do people actually believe Rihanna came up with a hair care line after Beyoncé announced hers in February and decided to create and release it within four months? Like, are people that naive, or are they being sarcastic or what? Now, I want to hear your thoughts. What do you think about Rihanna being accused of copying Beyoncé? Do you believe Rihanna was really keeping an eye on Beyoncé all this time? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. And don't forget to click here to watch another very messy video.